what's up guys so today I'm just messing around with the panels that I put outside right now it's getting good juice coming in it's at a hundred percent I got 13.1 volts at about 21 amps coming in 277 watts coming in I believe that's what that states because right now power's coming in I got this off I don't have anything turned on um, got my polos running, my polo running, my nice rivers running there. So I'm gonna show you the setup, how I hooked up the other two panels that I have. Kind of cold outside. Then bring my jacket out. Right, this was the normal panels that I got. I, I had put one over here. I put one on the top of there. I got one there, and then I got this one over here. Right now they're pretty much getting full sun. And then, okay, so I, this is the rack over here, how I hooked it up, okay? It can fit four panels. Right now I have two here. I had I had changed these around. Uh, instead of parallel, I got these in series. So they're both working together, you know, in a series connection um, to keep the amperage down, that's one thing. But it does bring the voltage up. Um, so I wanted to put this one in a series, in a four, uh, four panel series. So I just gotta get two more panels there. I would have to order two more panels, and then I have eight, a total of eight panels right now. I only have six. So everything seems to be working. I mean, I could have, uh, I had it actually pulled more of a 45 degree angle, but I decided to pull it up because I didn't like really the way it looked too much. But it is getting full sun. The sun is right there. So right now it's getting full sun. And connected in a parallel. I gotta cut these plants down behind here, but I was just doing a quick connect. So I got it hooked up like that. I got only, I, need only, I needed only one fuse because it's, um, the, this, when you hook it up to a series, it doesn't bring the amperage up, but I just got this 10 amp fuse here. So these are hooked up in a series connection. Um, just checking to see if it's warm, but it's not. So basically, I got the positive to the negative over here. Yeah, positive to this negative, and then I got the negative cable here, and then this positive here. So that's how it's hooked up in a series connection. Yeah, two more panels I'm going to get for this um, solar uh, rack here. And I just got these all like in different directions as you see. This one is facing this way. As the sun comes this direction, it goes like that. And then it goes right into this house. That's when I start losing power once it hits there. So that's why I kind of... Um, decided to go put it in this area here this entire thing so when it goes into that area when it goes into the house over there it'll still give me more you know about maybe another hour or so of sun with these so these will still be kicking in charging uh, the batteries so I just kind of quickly just threw this around there like like a madman the wiring just to get it hooked up and yeah, so this one would face that direction. I think this is, yeah, this is uh, east. And then once this goes, like I said, to the house, this one's gonna lose some, lose its power. Com not completely, but a lot of the power. And I got this one facing the opposite direction. I got this one facing that way. You know, so about 1 p.m., these start to lose um, sun. Uh, but like I said, that that one will still kick in. I'll be kicking on, you know, because it um, that one still will be facing it. Unless I were to put <laughs> maybe two more panels back here, facing this direction, then that would get me all the way, you know, give me more sun way past. You know, the best place, you know, way past it would probably give me another hour or so, maybe two hours, you know. But the best place to put it would be on top of my roof. But, um, you know, I'm not doing that. 
I'll just I'll just deal with it over here this way. Right now I'm testing to see that you know it could fully charge these five batteries that I have you know connected but I am getting another battery I got a sixth battery coming in I'm, I should get it sometime next week maybe Tuesday Wednesday around there I should get the sixth panel coming in I still have that Ice River KSO the new one the 200 um, uh, giga hash uh, on order and I ordered it on the same day it was released so you know hopefully I get that because I'm really really want to get as much Casper as I can you know um, I'm still mining Dogecoin with the um Ipolo. I'm still looking to buy other miners on a good deal, you know, grab a good deal. Get and still getting rid of my uh, GPUs. You know, I just sell two motherboards, which I shipped them out yesterday. Two of the motherboards. I got rid of two more motherboards. Um, those are Intel motherboards, mining motherboards. I got rid of those. I only have one more left, and that one has a defect though. Um, I'm like almost completely got rid of except the two new Intel motherboards that I got. I'm gonna hold those because those had the GPUs, uh, the 20, those were on the 24 GPUs. I want to keep those, um, those uh, motherboards because um, those hold like about 13 GPUs. So I, I want to hold on to those because you never know, but definitely, you know. Uh, I'm gonna hold those but yeah so you know I got this one here it's like on top of this cage the way it is so I had to kind of put it like flat down because it's it's avoiding this panel here because this panel was shading in and it does make a big difference but being that I you know I brought brought this back a little it's perfect and I brought this down a little flat down it does not shadow here and this one I got to angle this what direction here this one is facing right there. It's full bloom right now with the sun. Good spots, you know, because of the way I have it out here in the back, in the backyard. So it's a total of six panels connected. Um, two panels cost me about $142 for two panels. Um, I got six of those. And then that rack, I got it on a good deal, you know, because um, I got some Amazon discounts. I got the, actually the rack for about, uh, uh, I think it was like 60 bucks, but it, it, it would cost like about 200 bucks for it. But I got it for like about 60 bucks because I got it for a good deal. I had some discounts and this, that, and the other. I put it all that together and even got free shipping. So, I, you know, I had to get it. I was like, I got to get this, you know. And uh, I still don't have um, the, with with the other two panels. I actually have the six, uh, the ten, what is it, the eight gauge cable. But this one still has the ten gauge going towards the four panels. I still using the eight gauge cables. You know, I'm not gonna touch to see if it's hot or whatever. You know, I think I might have to switch this. Well, right now this can handle 40 amps, but it's right now it's it's bringing in 20 amps okay so it's a little bit warm but it can handle 40 amps this you know but if I try to put any more panels then definitely I'm gonna have to change this um, and and I would have to rearrange this connection over here that I have Let me show you this connection because this can only hold a certain amount of amps this itself like this uh, this crazy spider looking connection there you know it could only hold a certain amount I should check to see if that one is getting hot back there let me see it's a little bit warm but this is gonna handle only 30 amps here I could change this for a 40 amp right now it's on a 30 amp I should move this to a 40 amp um, but like I said it's good for now because right now this is only push putting pulling in 20 amps going through here so it's good up to 30 amps um, and that one is not going to it's not bringing up the amperage on that one because that one is hooked up in a series so it's not gonna bring it up too much as long as it's a series it, it would only bring in the, the voltage will go up and uh, and that uh, 
that charge controller, the solar charge controller, uh, handle up to 100 volts, but I'm not even there yet because of the way I have it set up, one, um, one is set up as um, as a parallel, and one, is, I mean, four panels on parallel and two on the series. But I'm thinking about possibly put them all on series. I don't know. So I'm doing some other testing and stuff like that. You know. Um, so, but I, I, you know, I want to move it up actually to a 24 volt system. So this is not a 20 volt volts. This is a 12 volt. So I would have to replace this. Um, the re one of the reasons is because I got this um, regulator that I can possibly just connect this to straight to that little regulator like I said before and then I can uh, bypass this I won't need this and I won't need a power supply okay so it won't have to convert it from from DC because the batteries are DC power to AC and then from AC to DC so that conversion there I'm losing I'm losing uh, energy so by just avoiding this and avoiding that and just hook it up to that little module straight to one of these Apollos um, and I could avoid all that converting and possibly have more power and that's something I'm really looking into I did get the module I just have to one of the things I have to do is change this you know just in the settings to a 24 volt right um, and I think that's uh, and then oh yeah and then rearrange the batteries because right now they're set up in a total uh, parallel all five of them I would have to switch into a series connection like uh, for instance like four four and four whatever two and two whatever that, that type of setup and that'll make um, 24 volts so right now I'm getting another battery in which would be the sixth battery I could probably do three and three you know and hook it up to a series connection and that would make it 24 volts and I can't use this on that, not this one, because this one's a 12 volts, like I said, I would have to replace that and get a 24 volt one, if I wanted to use one of these inverters. But I want to use this module, I do want to do some testing on that module, because I think, I believe, I, I mean, I know it's, uh, it's, it's, go, it's losing um, energy, I'm losing, uh, there's a loss there between all this converting, but that other way is not going to do all of this, and then I can probably crank this up. So I'm thinking if I can get it run on, a, on the module, right uh it's, a, it's it's actually a step down module it, it's going to um you're going to connect the 24 dc input into that um step down module and it's going to convert it into a 12 dc so the 12 day, from there i can connect it directly back here that will be one and if that works good with a, and it gives me a lot a lot of hours extra then i can potentially put another in theory another module have two and each one would be connected to a module instead of one of these power supplies I think that would work you know and, and possibly fuse it fuse them I believe they have fuses inside but I can possibly fuse them you know to protect it and then I can have the iPolos running you know um, because the module that I got is about it can handle about 460 watts 12 volt um, up to I think 40 amps I think so that's great that, that, that should work in theory it should work you know and that's pretty much it guys so that's it for the video guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later on the next one peace and I'm out later